हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर मैथ्स फैकल्टी ऑफ विद्या गुरु टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ स्पीड टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल दिस कंप्लीट वीडियो विल बी इन इंग्लिश सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी द सेम वीडियो इन हिंदी प्लीज चेक आउट द प्ले लिस्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग क्वेश्चन आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्पीड टाइम डिस्टेंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज स्पीड हाउ वी कैन डिफाइन स्पीड स्पीड इज नथिंग but a distance traveled in unit time distance traveled in unit time is speed if i am saying a person travel 5 km distance in an hour this is unit time 1 hour that means his speed is 5 km per hour if i am saying a person travel 100 meter distance in 1 second then his speed is 100 meter per second so distance traveled in unit time is speed distance traveled in unit time is speed now what is the formula of distance distance is equal to speed into time there are two cases in speed time distance what is case 1 what is case 1 when time is constant two person are traveling for same time but with some different speed so distance will also be different because their speed are different but their time are same if time are same and if i take ratio then time will be cancelled out s1 upon s2 will be equal to d1 upon d2 that means If two person are traveling for same time, then the ratio of speed is equal to distance, of or ratio of distance is equal to speed. This is concept one. What is case two? Case two, when distance is constant, two person are traveling same distance, but with some different speed. If speed is different, they will take some. different time also different time also so if i take ratio this time s1 upon s2 will be equal to t2 upon t1 that means ratio of speed is the reverse of time what i mean to say if a question say if distance is constant one person travel in t1 time another person travel in t2 time then reverse of this will be ratio of speed or if speed is given speed is given and distance is constant then reverse of speed will be ratio of time these both both cases are true because reverse of time is ratio of speed or reverse of speed is the ratio of time in the, in on these two concepts whole speed time distance is based so moving on to our first question what first question is saying a thief saw a policeman from a distance of 300 meter that means let thief was here and here was policeman and distance between them was 300 meter distance between them was 300 meter now policeman ran towards him and thief started running if speed of policeman is 33 km per hour and speed of thief is 30 km per hour then find the distance before uh, find the distance when thief will be caught he will have covered how much distance if policeman starting running from this point and thief started running from this point at the same time and they policeman caught him caught him somewhere here that means both are running for same time if he ran for one hour then policeman also ran for one hour why he was caught because speed of policeman was more than speed of thief that means time is constant for both if time is constant then ratio of distance ratio of distance will be equal to ratio of speed what is the ratio of speed 33 upon 30 that means ratio will be 11 tan for distance also how much distance more is covered by policeman one 
बट इन एक्चुअल हाउ मच मोर डिस्टेंस ही विल कवर टू कैच द थीफ 300 मीटर दैट मीन्स वैल्यू ऑफ वन इज 300 मीटर दैट मीन्स हाउ मच डिस्टेंस थीफ विल रन 300 टाइम्स दैट विल बी इक्वल टू 3000 मीटर और 3 किलोमीटर सो इफ टाइम इज कॉन्स्टेंट रेशो ऑफ डिस्टेंस एंड स्पीड इज इक्वल वॉट सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज सेंग दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज सेंग टू पर्सन पी एंड क्यू स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टूवर्ड्स बी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टूवर्ड्स बी द क्वेश्चन इज सेंग स्पीड ऑफ पी इज फोर किलोमीटर पर आर लेस देन क्यू स्पीड ऑफ P is 4 km per hour less than Q. The question is saying Q reached B and returned immediately towards A and meet person Q at person person Q meets person P at 12 km from B. This whole distance is given 60 km. Both person started from here towards B. Q is moving from more speed so he reached b and returned towards a and he met p at a distance of 12 km from b then how much distance q has covered q covered 60 km plus 12 km extra then how much distance q is q has covered 60 plus 12 72 he reached b that means he covered 60 km then he meet p at some point here which is 12 km from b that means he traveled 12 km more how much distance is covered by p 48 km both started at same time in time q reached b and returned towards a and meet p here in that time p has covered only this distance in time q covered this much distance p only covered this distance that means time is constant time is constant if time is constant the ratio of distance and speed are equal let it is p it is q speed of p speed of q what is the speed of p sorry what is the distance covered by p 48 and what is the distance covered by q 60 what is the distance covered by q 60 plus 12 72 if i take the ratio 24 2 times and 24 3 times this will be this is the ratio of distance and this will be the ratio of speed because time is constant so what is the speed of p 2 and q 3 p is 1 less than q but according to question speed of p is 4 km less that means value of 1 is 4 km per hour that means he is traveling with speed of 8 km per hour and he is traveling with speed of 12 km per hour that means speed of p is 8 km per hour and speed of q is 12 km per hour hope you are getting it if time is constant ratio of distance and speed is always equal what next question is saying a train approaches a tunnel ab there is a tunnel ab a dog is lo located at 2 by 5 distance of tunnel 2 by 5 2 by 5 that means if length of this tunnel is 5 then 2 by 5 it will be somewhere here this is 2 and this is 3 a dog is located at 2 by 5 distance that means dog is lo located here and this tunnel is ab question is saying a train is approaching train is approaching it has not yet reached a it is approaching towards a question is saying train whistles if dog run towards a he is he got he get caught at a exactly at a if he run towards b train catch him exactly at b then what is the ratio of speed of speed of train to dog ratio of speed is asked see when dog covered two distance if he run towards a he is covering this two distance then he is caught exactly at a that means when dog travel two distance train reaches a train reaches a so if i say 
if dog is running two distance two distance this side then how much distance is left one if dog is covering two distance towards b then train reaches here train will reach here because when dog cover two distance train catch him at a if he cover two distance this side train will reach here now what is the distance left to cover for dog one if dog reaches b train catches him exactly at b exactly at b that means in time dog cover one distance train cover five distance train cover five distance time is again constant time is again constant so ratio of distance and speed will be equal in time train cover five distance dog cover one distance this is the ratio of distance so this will be the ratio of speed also so what is the ratio of speed 5 ratio 1 option number b is the correct answer of this question so moving on to our next question these were some concept questions on concept of when time is constant moving on to our next concept when distance is constant question is saying a child while going to speed school reduces speed by 7 by 11 that means if it reduces speed by 2 7 by 11 if speed was 11 earlier now speed is 7 this is the ratio child earlier also was going to school and now also is going to school that means in both cases distance is constant so what will be the ratio of time when distance is constant distance is constant here when distance is constant ratio of time is reverse of ratio of speed reverse of ratio of speed that means earlier he was taking 7 time now he is taking 11 time question is saying he now takes 22 hours that means value of 11 now is 22 hours 2 times if he walked with his initial speed how much time he would have saved if he walked with initial speed he will reach in how much time 7 value of 7 will be 14 hours if he walk with this speed he will reach in 40 hour, 14 hour if he walk with this speed he will reach in 22 hour how much time he will save this is less than by this by 8 hours he will save 8 hours so coming on to our next question what next question is saying speed of father and son is given speed of father and son is given speed of father is 12 km per hour and speed of son is 15 km per hour they both started from A towards B. A towards B. That means father is also travelling this distance and his son is also travelling this distance. Distance is constant. So reverse of speed will be the ratio of time. So what will be the ratio of time? 15, 12, 3, 5, 4. Ratio of time will be 5 ratio 4. Question is saying son left after 39 minutes of father and reached 21 minutes earlier so how much less time he is taking than father he left 39 minutes later that means he saved here 39 minutes and reached 21 minutes earlier again he saved 21 minutes he left 39 minutes later and reached 20 minute, 21 minutes earlier so total he is saving 60 minute 60 minute 39 minutes later and 21 minutes earlier he is reaching so total he is saving 60 minutes he take he takes 60 minutes less than father but here it is one value of one is 60 minute or one hour one hour so value of four will be four hour one time question is asking what is the distance of wavy what is distance distance is speed into time with the speed of 15 km per hour sun take four hour so what is distance 60 kilometer or we can find out from here also value of 5 will be 5 with speed of 12 kilometer per hour father take 5 hour 12 5 is a 60 so distance is 60 kilometer so in both cases distance is constant so moving on to our next question
वॉट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेंग वेन अ चाइल्ड गोज टू स्कूल एट अ स्पीड ऑफ फाइव किलोमीटर पर आर अ चाइल्ड गोज टू स्कूल इन फर्स्ट केस विद अ स्पीड ऑफ फाइव किलोमीटर पर आर If he goes school फाइव किलोमीटर पर आर ही रीच इज सिक्स मिनट लेट ही इज सिक्स मिनट लेट एंड इफ ही गोज विद स्पीड ऑफ सिक्स किलोमीटर पर आर ही इज सिक्स मिनट अर्ली सो इन बोथ केसेज ही इज गोइंग टू स्कूल सो डिस्टेंस इज कॉन्स्टेंट वॉट विल बी द रेशो ऑफ टाइम सिक्स रेशो फाइव हाउ मच टाइम ही इज सेविंग सी लेट This is the correct time to reach school. If he walk with speed of फाइव किलोमीटर पर आर ही इज सिक्स मिनट लेट दिस इज करेक्ट टाइम बट ही रीच इज लेट बाय सिक्स मिनट इफ यू वॉक दिस स्पीड विथ सिक्स सिक्स किलोमीटर पर आर ही रीच इज सिक्स मिनट्स अर्ली दिस इज द करेक्ट टाइम ही रीच इज सिक्स मिनट्स अर्ली सो हाउ मच टाइम ही सेव्ड फर्स्ट ही वुड हैव सेव्ड सिक्स मिनट बिकॉज ही वॉज लेट then he saved 6 minutes more because now he is 6 minutes early first he saved this 6 minutes and then he saved this 6 minute so we what time he is saving 12 minute so for this we have made one concept if case is opposite late early first he is late or second time he is early or first he is early second time he is late if case is opposite we add time Time is added. Six plus six, twelve. But if case is same, late, late, or early, early. If case is same, we subtract time. We subtract time. So, in this case, what is the concept behind it? I will. I have explained you here. So, here it is opposite, late, early. So, how much time he is saving? One. But according to question, six plus six. 12 minute value of 1 is 12 minute then value of 5 will be 5 times 12 60 minute or 1 hour 1 hour question is asking find the distance between school and his home distance is what speed into time with 6 km per hour speed he takes 1 hour so what is the distance 6 km we can find here find from here also value of 6 will be 72 72 minute to convert it into hour we will divide by 60 into 5 6 km same answer will come so coming on to our next question of same time next question is saying when a child goes to school with a speed of 40 km per hour he reach he reaches speed is 40 km per hour and he reaches 2 hour early he is 2 hour early but he walks with a speed he move, goes with a speed of 30 km per hour he is 1 hour early both time he is going to school so distance is constant the ratio of speed will be 30 40 this will be cancelled out ratio is 3 ratio 4 now it is same case early early so time will be subtracted how much late he is by 1 but actually 2 minus 1 1 hour value of 1 will be 1 hour 4 will be 4 hour so what question is asked find the distance correct time to reach school and correct speed correct at speed at which he reach school at correct time so first we need to find the distance distance is speed into time speed is by 30 km per hour speed he reach in 4 hour 30 into 4 so distance is 120 किलोमीटर पर आर वॉट इज करेक्ट टाइम करेक्ट टाइम वॉट विल बी द करेक्ट टाइम इफ ही रीच इज इन फोर आर ही इज वन आर अर्ली इफ ही रीच इज इन फोर आर ही इज वन आर अर्ली दैट मीन्स ही शुड रीच वन आर लेट करेक्ट टाइम इज फाइव आर टू रीच स्कूल और वी कैन फाइंड फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो वैल्यू ऑफ थ्री विल बी थ्री आर इफ ही रीच इज इन थ्री आर ही इज टू आर अर्ली He is two hour early, so he should reach in five hour. I have the distance. I have the correct time. I can find correct speed. What is correct speed? Speed is distance upon time. Distance is one twenty. Correct time is five twenty four kilometer per hour. So if he will move with speed of twenty four kilometer per hour, he will reach school at correct time. 
सो ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज करेक्ट 24 किलोमीटर पर आर 120 किलोमीटर एंड 5 आर सो कमिंग ऑन टू आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन वट क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग अ ट्रेन अ ट्रेन इज मूविंग एंड आफ्टर कवरिंग डिस्टेंस ऑफ 50 किलोमीटर a train met with a distance and its speed reduced and its speed becomes 3 by 4 that means if its speed was 4 now it becomes 3 and reaches 35 minutes late now he reach late by 35 minutes in this case if the accident occurred 24 km further if train have covered 24 km more and now accident has occurred same thing will happen speed will become 4 2 3 but now he is late now he reaches late by due to accident 25 minute if accident occurred here he train was moving with speed of 4 but now is moving with speed of 3 earlier also this distance is left to be covered and now also train will cover this distance so distance is constant what is the ratio of time then 3 4 this is the initial speed and this is the initial time and this is after accident so train is late by how much time one but value of one is given 35 minute so if train was moving with initial speed what time train would have taken 3 value of 3 will be 35 times 105 minute same here will happen what will be the ratio of time 3 4 4 train is 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 late late by by this this distance distance left left and after accident also this distance is left. train is late by 1 but question is saying by 25 minutes if train was moving with initial speed it would have take 25 times 75 minutes from here with initial speed from here train is taking 105 minute but from here with initial speed train is taking 75 minute then this distance by train was covered in how much time difference of this because from here it is taking 105 minutes and from here it is taking 75 minute then this distance is covered in how many minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes 105 minus 75 so train cover in 30 minute 20 Four kilometer distance. Question is asked: What is the speed of train? What will be the speed? I told you speed is distance travelled in unit time, thirty minutes. If I multiply it by twenty, it will become sixty minute or one hour. So it will be also multiplied by two. It will become forty-eight kilometer. So in one hour, train travel forty-eight kilometer. So what is the speed? Forty-eight kilometer per hour. so it is given in option number a only so we can tick the option a but distance is also asked we know what is distance till here it is 50 plus 24 50 plus 24 this distance is left a b a b with speed of 48 km per hour from this point train take 75 minute so what will be the distance a b speed into time what is speed 48 into what is time 75 minute we will convert it in r by dividing it by 60 this distance is already given we are finding this distance 12 four times 12 five times 5 5 15 za 60 this will be 74 plus 60 So what is the total distance? One thirty-four kilometer. What is the speed? Forty-eight kilometer per hour. What is the distance? One thirty-four kilometer. This distance was fifty. This is twenty-four. This distance I have calculated with speed of forty-eight. Train takes seventy-five minutes from here. So what is the total distance? One thirty-four kilometer. In this type of question, uh, time is also asked. What is the total time in covering the whole distance? So we can find that also. this is total distance this is speed distance upon speed is time time can also be calculated here now we are taking 
टू थ्री वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन वॉट क्वेश्चन इज सेंग विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ओनली बाय फिगर वॉट क्वेश्चन इज सेंग अ बस मीट एन ऑटो एट टेन ए एम वाइल गोइंग सेम वे टूवर्ड्स हरिद्वार दैट मीन्स अ बस एंड ऑटो लेट दिस इज ऑटो एंड दिस इज बस दे मीट हेयर एट टेन ए एम दे मीट हेयर एट टेन ए एम बस रीच इज हरिद्वार एट ट्वेल्व थर्टी एम लेट दिस इज हरिद्वार बस रीच इज हरिद्वार एट ट्वेल्व थर्टी पी एम ट्वेल्व थर्टी पी एम टेक वन आर रेस्ट वन आर रेस्ट सो वॉट इज द टाइम नाउ 12:30 थर्टी पी एम बस रीच एंड टेक वन आर रेस्ट दैट मीन्स टाइम इज वन थर्टी पी एम वन थर्टी पी एम एंड रिटर्न द सेम वे रिटर्न एंड द बस रिटर्न एंड मीट ऑटो हाफ आर लेटर दैट मीन्स हेयर सो वॉट विल बी द टाइम हाफ आर लेटर हाफ आर लेटर सो वॉट इज द टाइम हेयर टू पी एम टू पी एम That means auto till now have reached here only. Let it is point A. Let it is point A. I have just made a figure. At what time auto will reach Haridwar? Question is asking only this. I will explain you one more time. Bus and auto meet here at 10 a.m. Bus reaches Haridwar. Bus reaches Haridwar at 12:30 p.m. Take one hour rest and started moving towards same back back uh, same way back. 12:30 p.m. bus reached took one hour rest and at 1:30 p.m. it started moving back half hour later half hour later bus meet auto at this point that means auto till now have reached here only the time is 2 p.m. this distance this distance what is the time in which bus cover the whole distance it moving started moving at 10 am and reached at 12:30 pm how much time bus have taken 2 and a half hour 10 am to 12:30 am is 2 and a half hour and this distance is covered by bus in how much time half hour then this distance would have been covered by bus in how much time 2 hour 2 hour now auto started moving at 10 am only but time is 2 pm and auto have reached till here only so how much time auto have taken to reach here 10 to 2 pm is 4 hr 4 hr distance covered by bus in 2 hr distance covered by bus in 2 hr auto take 4 hr to cover the distance it is becoming two times so this this distance covered by bus in half hr auto will cover the distance in two times 1 hour what is the time here 2 pm 2 pm plus 1 hour 3 pm 3 pm i will again try to explain you this question bus and auto started moving from here at 10 am bus reached here at 12:30 am and took one hour rest that means time is now 1:30 and started moving back and after half hour After half hour time will be 2 p.m. and it met auto here. What is the total time taken by bus to reach Haridwar? It started moving at 12, 10 a.m. and reached at 12:30 a.m. p.m. So bus take two and a half hours. This distance is covered by bus in half hour because question is given. Then this distance is covered by bus in two hour. Two hour. Now this distance bus cover in two hour, but this distance is covered by auto in how many hour? it started moving at 10 am and time is now 2 pm that means auto took 4 hr to cover the distance the distance covered by bus in 2 hr is covered by auto in 4 hr that means what is the distance left to covered by auto this the distance covered by bus in half hr will be two times that means in 1 hr auto will cover this distance time here is 2 pm plus 1 hr will be time will be 3 pm this was very interesting question we have just solved it by figure we are going to take one more one more very interesting question question is saying a father let this is home 
and this is school question is saying father daily picks his child at 3:30 pm but one day child left school at 2:30 pm and started towards home started walking towards home at speed of 6 km per hour he started walking and meet his father on the way because he is left earlier but father will reach at 3:30 pm so meet he met his father on the way and they meet here and started walking towards home and reach 24 minutes earlier 24 minutes earlier because this distance is not covered by father if he left at 3:30 pm then father has to cover this distance and then then he has to come back also so this distance is not covered by father that means father take 12 minutes to reach here and 12 minutes to come back this distance is same if he is taking 12 minutes to reach here he will take 12 minutes to come back that means father reach here at 3:30 pm father from here take 12 minutes and reach here at 3:30 pm so what will be the time here time here will be 12 minutes earlier that is 3:18 pm so at 3:18 pm father reaches this point this distance is covered by father in 12 minutes but child left at 2:30 pm if father here is 3 at 3:18 pm and child leave at 2:30 pm so child have reached here in how much time 2:30 to 3:18 what will be the time 48 minute this is the time taken by child here time will be 3:18 and child had left at 2:30 pm and reach here at 3:18 pm because he met his father here so how much time child take to cover this distance 48 minute this distance is covered by father in 12 minutes and by child in 48 minutes distance is constant if distance is constant ratio of time is given father to child he take 12 minutes he take 48 minutes what will be the ratio of speed reverse of this 48 ratio 12 4 1 question is saying speed of father is speed uh, speed of son is given he started walking towards 6 km per hour speed of son is 6 km per hour and value of one is 6 what will be the value of 4 24 km per hour speed of father was asked which is 24 km per hour option number b i will explain you one more time from uh, father daily picks his child at 3:30 pm but one day child left at 2:30 pm and met his father on way and they returned home and reached 24 minutes earlier what is the reason to reach home 24 minutes earlier father didn't covered this distance and didn't come back from here that means he reaches 12 minutes from here he reaches school 12 minutes and from way back he will take 12 minutes more that means if father reaches there at 3:30 pm and 12 minutes earlier he will be here time here will be 3:18 so father covered this distance in 12 minutes but by child this distance is covered in he leaves school at 2:30 pm and reaches here at 3:13 3:18 pm 48 minute distance is constant from both father take 12 minutes but child take for this distance 48 minute so opposite of time will be ratio of speed speed of child is given 6 speed of father will be 24 km per hour thank you very much to see such more videos please like share and subscribe the channel